Benetus, I have quick quick question. How yeah. can I remember I, this this confusion I have with the T codes? R Z E Z S M S E. What are the first two? What is the difference? How can I remember them? Like most of the most of the T codes starting with like a C and all. Uh, they are related. To, uh, yeah, most of the T codes are related to tables, right? Uh, but yeah, I know that what you mean, right? Uh, yeah, because say if I take a C, if I take a C, if I say C09 is talking about change request, right? If I right. in change request, if I say or viewing change request, if I say C11 is talking about opening a file and see the fields, what fields are there, right? Uh, if I open a table, for example, USR10, it will show me what fields are there. So no, I'm all, trying to understand. Yeah, I understand. Really no, no. You, you, for all of them, we cannot, right? But if you want to remember the T codes, I'll give a shortcut, right? But these are like looks looks like a bad workbench type of things, right? SC types. But at the same time, R R is it somewhat like this? Okay, okay. I will give you an easy way to remember. You type S N zero one. This will show all the T codes and I can lock the T codes and all in this, right? So now I want to see the T code starting with SC. So I type SC and enter. But it will give me explanation what it's doing, right? So if you have doubts, you have a favorite. So you can put the T codes in your favorite. But still if you have doubts, yeah. If you have doubts, you can check here. But don't just type T codes in your office machine, right? We keep on typing T codes which are not good, it will be it will be recorded, right? It will be in the log, right? Yeah. yeah. So you check here whether whether you're authorized to do the, use that, right? From this explanation you may understand. See see, yeah, see all the things are like ABAP. I told you SC normally ABAP related, right? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. If it is SM, it is administration. S T means uh uh, work workload analysis. ST. Oh, okay. ST. T for what? T for why they say ST for workload analysis sort of thing? Not workload analysis, I mean the performance tuning, performance monitoring, they use ST, right? ST commands. Okay, so now where are we? So we have to go to RZ10 and then make the changes. If I click on this, I will see profiles. So I have many types of profiles here. I have default profile, which is only one. Okay. I have a start profile. For this also, start profile only one, because I have only one instance. If I have two instance, I have two start profile. And the other one is instance profile. For every instance, I will have instance profile. I have only one instance, so I have only one instance profile. These are created by default. It's there by default. Okay? These are not what we are using. Okay? So we have default profile, instance profile, and start profile. If you make some changes in this, and if the changes are not correct, you may not even start your SAP system. So you have to always back up these profiles. If the system is working before making changes. Now we assume I want to modify, I want to view uh, the default profile. So I click on the default then profile. How can, we, how can we back up that profile? Is it just make a note of it or what do you mean? No, no, I will, show, I will show you in the next class only most probably because we have to go to the operating system level and copy it. We can see them in the operating system level. Okay. I will show you now. Here also I can show you that, right? So I went to default. I went to administration data. And why it says 24 here? Some people have changed it. That's why, right? So now I go to administration data display. So it shows it is saved in this directory. Okay. So in this directory, I can copy this to another directory. Okay. Oh. Yeah. 
and uh, modified by dimpy oh our students are modifying this that's why I, I was thinking why it went up to 24 who changed it 24 times so many people have been playing with that okay so she changed on uh, march 7th okay that's good i think they are learning a lot <laughs> they're learning a lot I think, yeah. I mean, the last batch my students were very good very very good they're very all are very very good in their subject so yeah so like you okay so I have this directory where it is saved and this is the name of the profile oh I'm sorry this is the instance sorry and the operating system is this it's a default profile so everything is there so I will go back to the next one so this is basic information about the profile. I'll go to basic basic maintenance. I'm not changing, I'm just displaying. So database source is this, message server is this, message server service is this, default client is this. When I log in, when I when I go when I just click on SAP GUI, I will automatically go to this particular client. My profile is default. Okay. Now I go to extended maintenance. Just display. So it gives me some more information. Some parameter names are there, parameter values are there. For example, what is the system name, SAP system name? What is the SAP system name? DSY. Okay. What is the host, database host name? Dev system. What is the SAP host name? This. So SAP host means the host name. SAP system name is SIT. Okay. So what is my default um, uh, client, all those information there. So now I will do the same thing for another profile. I will do that for start profile. This is my start profile start my instance name and the server name dialog update nq background message service instance number 01 okay so that's how you identify the central instance this is central instance if it is a dialog instance it won't say dvm right we will show you in quality system okay so click on I go to the administration data display this is the place where it is the operating system level it is a startup profile if you didn't be only did that also okay then version 4 not much people have modified or done anything with that okay yeah and then go back now I'll go to basic maintenance display. So it gives some information. Okay. Now I'll go to extended maintenance display. It gives similar to start profile. It gives some parameter parameter name and parameter value. So what happens if uh, students mess up all this stuff? If they mess up, so it, it, it will give problem. When I shut down, it won't give problem immediately. When I shut down, I won't be able to start. Right. Then what do you, how do you resolve the issue? But uh, fortunately, this is a virtual machine. <laughs> That's why you access to play in the virtual machine. So I can, I can, I have snapshots, right? So I'll bring a old snapshot. Uh, you will okay. do the system copy? Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I can't install again. It takes my three days, right? And do all those things, <laughs> yeah. right? It's a big job for me, right? Right. Then I go back. Now I'll go to the instance profile. So we have instance profile here, right? DSY SID, and this is the instance name, and this is the what is that? System name, uh, uh, host name. So select that, go to administration data display. So it shows same thing. You should see change that also. Okay, <laughs> same day. Okay. That is only five times people have changed. 
then basic maintenance display same as that but here we can allocate some space for different types of buffers okay if I go to change mode I will I can change this okay then go back we normally go to extended maintenance okay if I want to make changes here then all the parameters I can display these are the parameters people have changed I have four dialog work process I have one background work process let me check it so I open another session I want to see whether I have four dialog work process I type SM 50 okay. yeah oh yeah I have one two three four dialog work process okay so that is correct so I have four dialog work process how many update work process I have update one one update two one. I will check here. So update one, one, update two, one. So it does. Yes. Ah. So for changing we what extended we can pardon? Right? What did you say? Oh I um you said you want for to... making changes. Then you make changes here. You go to change mode and make changes. How to make changes in these parameters? We will discuss in the next lesson. So any questions? Do it in the extended mode, right? Yeah.